the garden fork. This is what they do. Today, we're going to make cornbread, but we're going to do the cornbread, jiffy cornbread mix hack, which I have called it. Um, this has been around for years where you can kind of modify the jiffy cornbread mix. And I want to show you a really simple one that we're kind of going to work on doing the fly. So we're going to see what happens. What do you think? I thought you did everything on the fly. Yeah, I do, basically. So. Oh, that's that. That's that. What's that? What's that? These are the two ingredients to make this cornbread mix that we're going to do. And I've heard about this for years now where people would take Jiffy corn mix, mix it with some cream corn, some people add different stuff to it, and it makes a pretty good cornbread on the cheap and really quick. So this is the kind of thing where you can just have it in your cupboard, you don't have to mix a bunch of ingredients, you just throw it in and cook it. What do you think? What are you going to eat it with? Butter. I've got a cast iron, I think it's an 8 inch cast iron pot, pan, preheating. What is that on the top? It's bigger than the entire stove. Isn't that cool? Four. I found this on the street the other day. And will you be cooking in it? Yeah, we're going to clean it up. That's a giant pan. How are you going to clean that up? A little oil. We're going to do another episode on um, restoring cast iron because I found a cast iron flap jet uh, griddle thing in my neighbor's trash. As I was saying, I found uh, a fry pan, so we're going to restore it, so, okay. Cornbread is summer meal, it's summer meal. I, I think cornbread is all year, I love cornbread, so I'll eat it all year round. You know, I think we should probably put uh, some butter in the, in the cast iron pan. But we'll do that when we're about to pour this in. So. Are you planning ahead? No. Did I just witness planning ahead? Did I witness planning behind? It was just, it occurred to me while we were doing this. And then some cream corn. I'm gonna use half this can because I couldn't find the little cans. So I'm gonna use half of this. Okay, that's about a half of a 14 ounce can. So that's seven ounces of cream corn, egg, milk, and the Jiffy mix. Well, I wonder if we should use two boxes. I'm just thinking um, to fill up that pan. Let's use two boxes. Oh, we just happen to have another box. See, this is the beauty of this stuff. You buy it, it sits in your cabinet and spur the moment. Oh. This might be too much. Okay, so that's a 14 ounce can, two things of Jiffy Mix, two eggs, two thirds of a cup of milk, and that looks great. This is very hot. So we'll just melt that down, get it on the sides of the pot, the pan. This is a seasoned cast iron pan, unlike the one I found at my neighbor's house. This looks great. It's like Jiffy Quicksand. Jiffy Quicksand. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna leave a little bit behind. I think that's... Plenty. Plenty. <laughs> In the oven. On the upper shelf? Yeah, that just happened to be where the shelf was. Let's uh, say 30 minutes and see what happens, okay? What's the temperature, dude? Oh, it's at 400. I'll make it 375 because that's what the box said to do. Did the box say for half an hour? It said for 22 minutes, but I think because since we have a it's thicker... It's the recipe. Yeah, we'll see what happens. So what I did, we had some extra batter left over, so I put them in these little ramekins. Oh, how cute. Nice, huh? Let's see if I can get them out. That might be a little overdone. Oh, I actually say I think it looks perfect. Isn't this where we're supposed to stick a toothpick in it or something? 
Yeah, but I'm an expert at cornmeal baking, so I know when it's done. Now, there's different schools of thought about this, or whether you should let it cool before you pop it out of here, or let it cool two minutes. I mean, I don't know what the science is behind this. I'm sure if you let it cool, it would just pop out more easily. Like. You see this technique where I'm running the spatula under the pan like that? Yeah. I just invented that. Wow. How cool is that? It worked. Isn't that scary when it works? Wow, that's nice. Look at that. Um. That's not bad at all. That's really quite good. Where did you grow up? It's a box. <laughs> it's a it's a box and a can from the grocery store. Yeah, I rest my case. Where did you grow up? <laughs> I was raised in the Midwest. I was born in the East Coast. Um, my parents are New Yorkers, if you could believe that. Oh, just dropped some food. Score puppies. I'm, I'm really impressed by this. <laughs> Alright. Eric's going to be busy for a little while. Yeah, I'm going to eat this. I'm going to put the recipe on our site, gardenfork.tv. And there's a bunch more videos on there and a bunch of cool photos of the dogs and beekeeping, people writing uh, different articles on the site. And uh, just, it really, you know, I think if you come visit the site, you really like it. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. <laughs>